Is football being ruined? There's no such thing as a hip drop tackle, only a tackle. Once we do this, what's next? Can't can't tackle guys oh, okay. mm. when we're running next to them? How about that? Mm. We're going to ban hip drop tackles? This is going to be a mess. Here's the problem. Yeah. And the rule is what the rule is. But they've apparently made a distinction between yeah. the hip drop tackle and the swivel hip drop tackle. Apparently, there's an Elvis twist to this. Thank you. If you ask me to pull up videos and show you what a hip drop tackle was, or if you ask me to demonstrate a hip drop tackle, I wouldn't be able to do it. Uh, I don't. I don't understand. Like I, I they're. Jeez, I'm flustered. <laughs> like I'm just angry about it. You can tell there's people furious about this new hip drop tackle ban, but there's also those in favor of it. NFL EVP Troy Benson also reiterated the hip drop tackle is something we want to get out of our game. He added, the greatest asset for any athlete is durability and availability. Yeah, I said, I'm because the injury is too great. You rarely see somebody get that tackle and come back the same the next play. They yeah. always limp off the field. Uh, I just knew because the high rate of injury that they were going to do something with it. Yeah, most definitely. I, I knew you were right, obviously. I, I think the hip drop, taking the hip drop out of the game is the right thing to do. I think, again, Roger and Troy are on the right path with that. The competition committee is on the right path with that. Uh, it, it'd be good. Uh, it'd be good if it does pass, in my opinion. Now, this is where it gets complicated. It's another subjective thing that the referees have to enforce. How are they actually going to do this? Will the league take the approach like they did with the use of helmet rule that went in several years ago, where they're not necessarily emphasizing it with the game officials? They don't want to tell the game officials, "Hey, don't call it at all. You can't have a rule on the books." that is not officiated on the field. There has to be something in terms of that, that, that consequence when you commit that violation. I really feel like the league will take a more comprehensive appro approach during the week with video review, where you don't have to make that decision in real time. You get to look at the different angles and then you can levy fines or warning letters. So I think it's gonna be a combination I do not expect a ton of flags in this area, at least this year. There will be minimal flags. There will be more fines because this is a big change. And like you said, defensive players, the NFLPA came out and said they're not in favor of this. Look, coaches and players, they adjust. This reminds me of 2008, 2009 with the defenseless player rules and the hits to the head neck area. There was a lot of pushback then. The players adjusted, the coaches adjusted, the officials adjusted. Hopefully that will happen again. Now, before I give you my thoughts on the rule, I do want to show you why this is so unfreaking believably complicated. You can't just go by if someone ends up being injured. This is the most famous example of a hip drop tackle. Thursday night football, this was where we first started hearing cries for this tackle or this style of tackle to be banned. With Logan Wilson, of course, it looked like a hip drop tackle variation here on Mark Andrews. He was hurt and pretty much out for the year. And here is the extra angle on this, okay? Now, I'm going to let you hear from a few NFL players on if they feel this is actually a dirty play, this specific play in particular. This, yeah. Hip yeah. drop tackle. Mark Andrews. That's a tackle? It's just a tackle. That's what that's how that's what football is. That's a tackle. That's a football tackle. Yeah. Exactly. And I don't know how you expect somebody. Yeah, the only thing yeah how do you out, do? The how do you outlaw thing, that? The only oh, thing in football you can't do is horse collar. Now that was via Raw Room. Shout out Jalen Collins. Um, but this is where things get interesting. Many consider this not a hip drop tackle, including the NFL, who actually made this a rule because they said that Logan Wilson didn't unweight himself and pinned the legs to the ground. He was already sliding on the ground, and he just happened to roll up on Mark Andrews' ankle, okay? So comment below if you think this play in particular is a quote-unquote hip drop, hip swivel. It sounds like a 90s dance move. Ha, ha, ha. Here's Dean Blandino yet again. All this, I've been using the Mark Andrews photo as like, this is the one. Everyone uses this as this is what is illegal. I've had some Bengals people mention that one is actually not illegal. Is that true? Like, which play are we actually looking at? 
this is this is exactly what we're talking about. That that there's so much nuance to this. Where the Mark Andrews play, where that was a lot of people, well, that was a hip drop. That was a hip drop. I think the play that that more illustrates it, because with the Andrews play, you can make a case that the Bengals player hit the ground first and didn't necessarily land on the back of Andrews' legs. I think the the, the better example, for me at least, is Isaiah Simmons tackling Geno Smith early. I think it was week three near the sideline, where he clearly drops and lands on the back of, of, of Geno's legs. And I think that's to me, is a better example. But this is going to be, hey, we're looking at plays – multiple times on video. Now we're going to ask our officials to make these decisions in real time. This is going to be tough. This is We're going to see some situations where we either think it's a hip drop and there's no flag, or there's a flag and it's not a hip drop. So it's going to be, again, there's going to be some growing pain. All right, so Troy Vincent of the NFL actually tweeted out a few examples of hip drop tackles, okay? And... Yeah, that is definitely a, a a hip drop tackle, and you get an extra angle here, and yeah, you see his legs are actually to the roof right there. Oh man, that is just gruesome. This has been an example used quite a bit. This is the NFC, uh, one of the NFC playoff games from 2022, not this past year. You'll see Tony Pollard. He actually did end up getting hurt in this game from this play. You could see Pollard just wincing in pain already. Uh, God, that is just tough, tough, tough to take in. And you get an extra angle here. As you can see, Ward unweights himself. He's whipping the hips and pinning the ankle to the ground. Okay? I understand what some of you are going to say. Football is a gruesome sport. It's just part of it. But, I mean, you put yourself in Tony Pollard's shoes, right? That is obviously a tough one and he wasn't the same player this year all right so we've already uh so we've heard dean uh talk about the geno smith one okay more quarterbacks coming up in just a second that one's pretty gruesome right there now i think out of all of them this one might actually be the worst um ironically sammy watkins uh on a carry actually had this happen to him by former first round pick Barkevius Mingo in a college game where the end, you know, if you're a running back, you don't really see this in coming at all. There is no way Ramadre Stevenson could have been prepared for it. You can even see it from this angle. Like it's just, just your typical a gap run. Stevenson actually gets not necessarily blindsided, but he's truly shocked uh, that the backside blocking was so bad. Then again, it was New England's offense. And as you can see, his legs are just trapped. What's going to be interesting, are they actually going to ban this in college, right? So this is Jordan Travis, uh, a Heisman Trophy contender, going up against uh, North Alabama. And uh, th this is not uh, for uh, mild eyes, I'll put it that way this is honestly very 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 gruesome so i'm giving you a warning all right uh before uh you 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 watch this and as you can see unweights himself and actually puts all of it on his leg and yeah that's not how a leg is supposed to look and that's because it was a hip drop and then of course patrick mahomes they're going to protect the golden child. And as you'll see here, Mahomes gets folded up on here. Would this actually be a hip drop, though? It does look like the end right here, his legs are on the ground first. So I don't know if this would actually be a hip drop because he didn't actually swivel his legs through. Um, but he did fold Mahomes' ankle and because it's Mahomes, they, they would obviously throw a flag. I don't know if that would be a hip drop. Now, we get to the most famous uh, hip drop tackle. Uh, we got some old school VHS footage uh, right here. Lawrence Taylor on Joe Theismann. This essentially uh, ended Theismann. And yeah, you get good old NFC East battle. Theismann steps up into the pocket. And this is by the book. Uh, a, a hip drop tackle if you ask me obviously Lawrence Taylor jumps up in the air 
and you'll see that he does bring both of his legs around. And once again, this is not for the faint of heart. Um, this is a, a very gruesome way uh, to go down, and, and Theismann's leg essentially snaps. So there you go. Do I think this is a good thing that they are banning this form of tackle? Before I give you my answer, this is my video from the kickoff rule changes. That's linked down below. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell if you love independent deep football analysis. So I do think this is a good rule change. Football has always evolved, right? Horse collar tackles, gone. Go all the way back to Dick Knight Train Lane. Uh, the, the, the clothesline, gone. Um, you know, football just evolves, you know, the head to head safeties, leaving their feet and just blasting people. You can't even do that anymore. So that's just football. Uh, it's just, just a constant evolution. And I know what a lot of you will say, well, what, when will it stop? What can a defender actually do? And it is a good point. It is really hard to play defense. And as Dean said, it's going to be very hard to officiate. What I would counter with, though, is scoring in the NFL is actually down, right? With the evolution of two high coverages, offense is down. So defenses themselves ha have adjusted in their scheme to uh, the new rules, uh, the, the, the ways that quarterbacks can't get hit anymore. They, they obviously stopped the vertical pass with uh, different coverage schematics. Football is always evolving, right? Whether it's rule changes, schemes, or whatever, and this is just another step in the process that I quite frankly agree with. You know, the Jordan Travis injury from the Florida State game was so bad. We don't want legs being snapped into the opposite direction. Uh, that can dramatically alter your life. So let me know what you guys think uh, down below. I am worried about how it's going to be officiated and the differentiations uh, of different types of tackles. But maybe we just hardly ever see this version of a tackle anymore. So, there you go. It is power hour NFL, baby. Boom! And tonight, we are doing burgers. Let's go.